Anyways, and today we'll be looking at the uh, double modeling set from the uh, mechanical mecha collection line. And we're starting with the hover pile door, hover pile door, and the brain condor. Because, well, this is this is where the Kabuto Koji and Tetsuya sits, so. Yeah. And, uh, well, start with the brain condor. There's really nothing to this other than it just goes into great head like this. This one. Now, this is based off the OVA design, or colors rather, well, yeah, design and colors, so, this is pure, not pure white, but it's a wh whitish gray, and these are pretty small as you can see, and, yeah, it's, it's just that, but grayish white, and, of course, to dock it, you put these up, and now to dock these, well, to dock both of these with the uh, Majingers, so. Majingo! You got Gray and Zed over here, which they're both pretty cool. One interesting thing is that these are maybe model kits, but they're, they kind of weigh more than an actual model kit. Like, here's the uh, high grade heavy arms, this weighs more. And th and that's pretty sure due to the rubber that's used, because you got rubbery torso, upper shoulders, waist, and the soles and the kind of innards of the feet. And the hands as well. Uh, that's all the rubber that in both of these. Everything else is just like normal plastic. And screws as well, because you do need to do some screwing. Yep. <laughs> you need to screw the upper shoulders, the uh, leg joints here, and two, um, the two screws in the white abs for the inner frame. And I'll show the inner frame, quote unquote. It's a mostly complete inner frame except for the head. But this is like a 2001 model kit. These are like 2001 kits, so that's pretty good in my opinion. And uh, one, oh, you can see one problem immediately. Uh, one of Great's horns disappeared. And one note, I painted the eyes on both of these. And I didn't use every sticker because they kind of suck. But you get stickers for the eyes and the red lining around them. The uh, blue here for the navel missile. And the white here, that would be on Great's legs. And uh, the horn falling off. Um, but it, on one side, really, is the only problem with it, with Great. With, in standard form, Great. <laughs> I'll, I'll, look for, I'll spend 20 minutes looking for that later. But, uh, let's see. Well, the main difference with the OVA and the, uh, and this, and normal designs is, I'm gonna start with this guy. It's primarily him, because the uh, normal one ends off at a tip here, it doesn't go like this angular design, and this one has the diamond sort of thing going down here, while the other one just kind of goes, gets, goes up and ends at a point, like a triangle kind of. That's the main thing with, and you also get the uh, Jets Grander with the normal release of this one. You don't get anything, you just get that. That's all. For this one, the Jets Grander is the main difference in that um, it's gray and it's uh, this design. It's normally like a triangular middle part here. And that's about it. And this one here, you can do, you can make it flat, but I prefer it for the pointy part. And that's about the main differences. The only differences, really, that I believe. Oh, and you also get this piece for this one, for Zed, and and that's about it. Yep. Yeah. And the, I think the screw pressure punches and the iron cutters are also unique to this set, I believe. I think. Don't quote me. I'll put an annotation somewhere if I'm right or wrong, but. You'll notice an immediate problem. These are blue. That's black. These are supposed to be the same parts. I know Mazingers can color, or Mazingers don't really apply, don't really care about physics, but uh, this is more like get a robust territory. So, yeah. And then, 
Um, and another modification I did was that the neck here stick, the gray neck part sticks, sticks up higher. So it makes head movement more limited than it actually is. So with my little mod, I just cut off the two little pegs that will stick out on the neck part of the inner frame. But you can like look around more basically. And see, with the hinge in the body, it can look up that much and that far down. Now then, there's two, there's two uh, swing out arm joints, which is a really nice surprise. The arms can go 360. Well, if you move them out of the way of the chest things, chest design, the arms actually rotate at the, right above the elbow and bend about 90 degrees. Wrist arm, uh, ball joint, double set rotation, double bolt, er, up ball joint up here and down here, so you get some nice articulation and that happens a lot. And one thing I suggest is be careful of how tight you screw you screw in the uh, two screws here because you have them extremely tight. This would be super stiff to move this and you'll be stressing out the post, the halves of the post that the uh, ball joints are on. So you don't want a broken mouse finger. And you can also rotate like this and same there. It's kind of fun to mess around and see what weird stuff you can do with the rubber. And let's see, the legs can go about that far forward, can pop off that far backwards. You can try to force it a little more, but why are these popping off so much? But the rubber will inhibit it more. Legs can go out a lot, but as you can see, it starts messing with the design of the rubber. There's a rotation right above the knee. My God, why, why, why is that? Why, why are you doing this to me? And the knee can bend about that much, and I just broke his leg. And the ankles can tilt, but with the weight this is designed, you can actually kind of extend it a bit and get more. And this applies to both of the Mojangers. Because they're pretty much the same other than a couple of design things. Shared hands are the fist you see here the open hands on both sides for both of them and let's see yeah that's about the shared hands for great you get a thunder break pointing finger thunder break you get these two hands with holes in them for the swords but you could get one to z over here and you only get these fingers these sets of hands with the great over here and let's see the other set of open hands. Um, you also get Rocket Punch, both. This is where I did another modification where I took I took out the spring and I put in one for a mechanical pencil because the one they gave you in this set is like way too weak in my opinion. Like it would just shoot and do this one actually has some power to it. So yeah, I like it. And to just put the, just use the rocket punch. You just rip off the lower arm, peg that in, and just move it forward to do whatever you want with it. I just realized this, this is Zed's rocket punch. There we go. And you get the. So many parts here. <laughs> the screw pressure punch. But these are unique to sides. They're assigned to certain sides because this only because the fist here. And uh, let me. And the other one here is meant to just replace the arm. So let me give me a second. This is what I meant by replace the arm. It just, it's kind of like before it does the fire. But you you, you see my problem again with this thing. Um. That, that that's black. This this is blue. This should be black. This this should be this should all be black. Oh well. <laughs> and you get the same things for the iron cutters as on Mazinger. Same side that has the rocket punch and the same side that has the uh, actual articulated version. So that's about everything. One thing I wanted to show off is that I know Great did this. Let me use the other fist. And uh, this is something I was curious about too until I tried it. He can actually hold it and throw it. and. To get the complete effect of great, so I want to show them off with the swords. Here we go. 
There's a lot of stuff to this set, but it's mostly a lot of shared stuff. You can't hold the swords, but it's like it it turns like this really easily. So yeah, and the jet scrander, and for the jet scrander, it's just stuck like this. You if you reverse it, it's just like it, it's backwards. There the two are. Um, yeah, I like these. They're very fun in my opinion, and I want to get kind of like the rest of the this time of the mecha mecha collection line because they had Getter One, uh, Riding. Um, I think I might get the other two. I'm gonna get the heavy version of this guy because it's metallic, and I might get the normal version and make that metallic to have like a ma matching metallic Mashinger set. But I, I really do enjoy this little line of model kits, even though the articulation is kind of limited, but they're neat. But uh, yeah, they're fun. I really enjoyed putting these together, and it's a set of classic robots. Although one thing I forgot to mention is that, surprisingly he didn't do it in this review, but Mazinger's face comes off way too easily. But strangely enough, it stayed together for this review. I, I, I don't know why. Reviewer syndrome, I guess. But that's about everything. Oh, oh, oh. One thing I almost forgot to mention. You get two extra nose pieces for great and... Uh, I think these are reversed. Yeah. You get two extra nose pieces for great and Zed. Because the uh, these nose pieces are on the same runners as the arm, upper arms. Lower arms and lower legs. So They're black. This would be black. But they made new parts. And they're blue. You also get some extra screws with this thing. And here's pretty much the inner frame. It's a support frame is what I call it. Where it's just, there's no detail on it at all. It's just a structure on the inside of the armor. And yeah, there, there's nothing for our lower arms because it's just, that slides in and there's just, it stops the uh, arm kind of stops midway and the ball joint is so yeah, this is a pr still pretty neat though, in my opinion. Pretty cool, and you can see the screws: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That was very fun. Not really, but uh, it's still pretty neat. One thing I would like to know is that the arms are made to go in a specific way, and. Uh, there's a little nub that would stick out, but uh, in me wanting to show this, uh, I kind of, I kind of didn't turn it enough to where the hole would come out of that little bit, so it just ripped off. It doesn't really affect it; it just adds more friction to to what would be an already stiff arm swivel. So uh, it's not really that important, but it, it's just a nub. It doesn't really affect the kit all that much. It's just something I I felt like I would need to mention because. I forget the name of the guy on YouTube. I forget his name, but the guy on YouTube was like putting it in the wrong way, and I'm just like, no, you're you're complicating your life that way. Why? And you can kind of see here at the bottom what I meant by having it too tight. I had my finger stuffed too tight, and you can see it's stressed at the bottom only though. And you can see what happens when you have too tight. A lot of dust. So yeah, don't don't over tighten these. Put these in the right way if you want. And yeah, like and. Uh, Arigato. Arigato. Before I forget, these are non-scale, so they're not, they're not even in scale with each other. Great, it's supposed to be, uh, I'd say, I think he's 20 meters, 18 meters here, so he's just a little bit taller, but not a whole ton, and his proportions are supposed to be different, yet they're pretty much, they would be the same if they were, if they, if this one had his armor on. But, um, here's a high-grade Gundam. So you can kind of see the size. And for 100 scale, this is an old kit, but it, 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 yeah, it's pretty much, I'd say, the size of a high grade uniform. So yeah, th th these don't need to scale with each other, but they're close to 100, but not really. So, so I don't know what scales with these. Thanks for watching, and take care.